Uh, I had a kid that actually passed away and I had a kid passed away inside in an Irish hospital and they're talking about taking away care from uh, from this uh, constitution and taking the, the word mother out and the word family unit but I won't be here today only for uh, the mother of my kid and the family unit that we had so if you want to start going down the road and taking away uh, the rights of mothers and the rights of families in this country by telling lies it's not going to fly so, just for the wording within the Constitution, it does not say that a woman's place is in a home. What it says is that each and every family member, including the woman, has duties at home. And that's to take care of their kids, put dinner on the table, whatever else. This government would want to take that, uh, their obligation out of the Constitution, in my eyes. So they don't have to actually give any state care to those, uh, those mothers that may be coming across uh, difficult times or whatever else. And further down the line, when you go to court and you're looking for that, that care, they're not there to be. Uh, they're not going to be uh, obliged to give it to you. And a big, a big thing for me is everyone is looking past is family law. So, if I have a child in the morning with a with a girl, and I spend a year and a half in that child's life, and then the next man that may come came, come along and build a relationship with that woman and spends five years with that child. Who has the durable relationship? Am I that child's father or is the other guy? These are questions that need to be answered. Nobody seems to be asking them. And there's certainly nobody answering them. So that's why I'm here today and I'm sure that's why everyone else is. I don't have much else to say, lads, only let's take it on and keep on fighting these focus.